go. Brayton Parker tipping off against Justin Johnson. And we are underway. The Flames get the ball first. It is Sam Skipper bringing up the ball for the Flames. Whips it over to Christopher Blunt, guarded by Jared Rodriguez. Nice pass in the paint here as Josiah Woods flips it back out. First shot of the game, no good. Rebounded by Rodriguez. Starting line for Idaho State, Tarek Cool, Austin Smaley, Daxton Carr, Jared Rodriguez making his first start as a Bengal, and Braden Parker. Idaho State is without Robert for the third as Bengals turn it over. On the ground, a fight for the ball, and we're going to be inbounded here by Clark. Full court pressure here early on for Idaho State. I'll back up as Woods brings it down the court for the Flames. Hands it over to Skipper. Goes around the screen, drives into the paint. Braden Parker there defensively. Affected the shot, got the rebound. Bengals on the move. Tara Cool comes in and picks, gets his pocket picked by Clark, who slams it down for the game's first bucket. Nice play by Justin Clark. He just swiped Cool clean and then took it in for the slam. Two nothing flames. Rodriguez answers with the three for the Bengals' first bucket of the game. J Rod getting ISU on the board. Skipper stops, flips it out. Here's a three from Blunt. So that goes in. So Bethesda answers with a three of their own. And it's 5 3 Flames. Smaley whips it over to J Rodriguez. Thought about it, but takes it over to Cool. Back to Smaley. Parker flips it out to Cool, who hits the three. Raining threes here early on in Pocatello. 6 5 Bengals. Both teams perfect from beyond the arc here early on. Skipper working on cool, flips it back out to Clark. Long two, short, and rebounded by Rodriguez. Sends it out to cool. Back out to Rodriguez, he'll take another three. That one hits back iron. Ball tipped up in the air and brought down by Johnson for the Flames. Skipper goes around a screen. Well played by Cool defensively to keep him in front of him. And then a couple of flames run into each other and they're gonna get called for a travel. So a bit of a traffic jam there at the top of the key as a couple of flames run into each other as we take a look at some of the early action. That was the first buck of the game there. Big slam there from Clark to get the, scar, the scoring started. And then a lot of threes here early on. Right now, 6-5 Idaho State. Carr flips over to Rodriguez. Smaley, Carr, he'll take the long three. Back iron again, offensive rebound by Parker, loses it and it's gonna be, referees look at each other and they're gonna say it's off of Johnson and the ball will remain with Idaho State. They're letting them play a little bit early, a lot of physicality underneath the basket, fighting for those rebounds. Cool looking to inbound. Finds Smaley on the left elbow. He'll hand it off to Cool. Rodriguez now. Cool, six on the shot clock. Behind the back, into the paint. Throws up the teardrop, bounces off, no good. Rebound, fought for, Rodriguez gets it. He puts it up in the paint. Second chance points there from J-Rod, and it's now 8-5. Idaho State. Blunt stops and pops, can't hit the long two. Daxton Carr gets the rebound for Idaho State. Cool bringing it up. He'll bring it over here to the left side. Gets a screen from Parker. Flips it out to Smaley. Looking for some help. In the corner, Rodriguez for three, no. Rebound by Carr, he puts it up and he's gonna draw the foul. So a good offensive rebound there by Daxton Carr, and we have our first foul called of the game. And that's gonna send Daxton Carr to the free throw line. So you see, gets that one-handed rebound and gets fouled on the putback. The foul is gonna be charged to Blunt. That is his first, team's first, and our first free throw of the evening here from Carr, the Pocatello native. In and out, no good. 
Zach Vicentin will come in for Idaho State as Braden Parker takes a seat. And another free throw coming here for Carr. The 6'7 sophomore from right here in Pocatello. Misses them both, but another offensive rebound as Rodriguez fights up and get it. Now he's in some trouble and he's gonna get a foul called. Looks like Justin Clark's a guilty party. That's gonna be his first. More substitutions here for Idaho State. Daxton Carr is gonna take a seat and Malik Porter will come in. And Idaho State will inbound underneath their own basket. 16.04 left to go here. Quickly to Rodriguez, hands it back to Cool. Over to Smaley, pump fakes, and he's gonna draw another. Idaho State up eight to five over Bethesda here early on in the first half. Another steal here from Justin Clark, his second of the game, and he gets it to go on the fast break. So he's made his impact known on the defensive side. He's already had two steals early on and he's taken them coast to coast for buckets. That cuts the lead down to one. Vicentin drops it into Malik Porter, who's in the game, loses it, gets the ball back, puts it up again. Nice play there by Malik Porter to stay with it. And that puts Idaho State back up by three. Underneath now here, Blunt. Nice pass and nice play there. Rayshon Bolger in the game now for the Flames. He gets on the board and he gives them the bucket. 10-9 now here for Idaho, for Idaho State on top. Just about five minutes into the game here. Jared Rodriguez finds Cool. Smaley looking underneath for Porter and said goes high for Vicentin, the top of the key. Double teamed, kicks it back out to Cool, loses it momentarily back to Smaley from three in the corner and he hits the corner three with two seconds left on the shot clock. Skipper drives, kicks it back out to Clark. He's gonna take the shot, front of the rim. Smaley brings down the rebound off the tip. Here comes Idaho State. Jared Rodriguez. Over to Smaley, back to Rodriguez, down low now to Porter on the block. Gets it out to Cool, he'll take the three. In and out, rebounded by Clark. They work it around over to Josiah Woods. Can't get the fade away from the baseline to go down, rebounded by Jared Rodriguez. Rodriguez flips it out to Smaley. A giveaway, another steal by Clark. Starts a fast break ahead to Skipper, and they get it to go. The Flames working the fast break points here early on. It's kept them in this game. It's 12-11 Idaho State. It's a third steal that's gone the distance for a bucket for the Flames. I see a little sloppy with the ball here early on. Vicentin with the hook shot, can't get it to go. Rebound back to Porter. So an offensive rebound for Idaho State. Bengals out rebounding the Flames 12 to two. Six on the shot clock for Cool. Here comes a screen from Porter. Drives and he's gonna get the foul called on the way to the basket. I think it's gonna be Rayshon Bolger who's gonna be the guilty party here. That is his first. Carr checks back in for Jared Rodriguez. Very efficient start to the game for Rodriguez. He got his first start tonight as a Bengal. Five points, which already matches a season high for him and a season high five rebounds in just the six some minutes we've played so far. Vicentin can't get it to go. Another offensive rebound and put back there, Malik Porter. There for the put back. That's his, I think, at least second rebound of the game. That gives him 300 for his career. Here's a corner three, no good from the Flames. Smaley gets a rebound for Idaho State. Three point lead now for the Bengals. Carr flips it out to Tarek Cool. 
Nice ball movement feeds Dax and Caro misses a dunk. Porter gets the rebound. He gets fouled as he goes up strong. Idaho State crushing the Flames on the boards here early on. Eight offensive rebounds for Idaho State so far, 15 overall. And Malik Porter will go to the line for the first time. Meanwhile, the foul is called on Rayshon Bolger. That is his second. Team's fifth. No fouls called against Idaho State so far as Porter comes up a bit short on the first rebound, or free throw, excuse me. Meanwhile, uh, A.J. Bergen comes into the game for the first time for Idaho State, as does Liam Sorensen. Smaley and Cool will have a seat. The second free throw from Porter rattles in and out, rebounded by Bolger, who remains in the game with two fouls here. 12-20 left to go here in the first half. Isaiah Burton, Burton in the ball in the game now with the ball for the Flames. Skipper working on Sorensen. He'll take the three. No good. Rebounded by Porter. Flips it over to Sorensen. Virgin, Carr, Sorensen, spins around a defender. Back out to Virgin. Over to Carr. Down low on the elbow for Vicentin. Virgin pump fakes. Takes a baseline jumper. And good. A.J. Bergen gets his first points of the night. And it's a five-point lead for Idaho State. Skipper with the ball for the Flames. Drives hard to the paint, draws the foul, and gets the bucket. Liam Sorensen, the guilty party, but the and one for Sam Skipper takes us to our next media timeout, 16-13. Idaho State on top. You're watching Big Sky Men's Basketball here on ESPN+. Sam Skipper on the line for the Bethesda Flames. He's averaging 10 and a half points per game for Bethesda, and he hits the free throw to convert the three-point play and cuts the lead down to two. The foul was on Liam Sorensen. That was the team's first. He has the ball now for Idaho State. Two-point lead for the Bengals here. 11-19 to go here in the first half. Daxon Carr on the right elbow. Back out to Sorensen. Sorensen into the paint. Flips it out to Rodriguez. He hits the three. Jared Rodriguez taking advantage of his start. He leads the Bengals with eight points, and now we have a foul on the floor as it was Isaiah Burton driving to the hoop, and I think it's going to be Liam Sorensen again on the foul, uh, foul call for Idaho State. That's his second. He's the only Bengal with a foul. And he's going to have a seat as Tarek Cool comes back in. The foul was on the floor, so the Flames will inbound. Eli Cohen to inbound. Gets it over to Skipper. Skipper trying to direct traffic, guarded by Rodriguez. Rio Rodriguez does a good job of staying in front of him. Now here's Cohen. Puts up the shot, misses everything but the backboard. Rebounded by Carr. Cool, bringing it up. Goes all the way in. Nice feed to Braden Parker for the lay-in. It's a path opened up for Cool to get all the way to the basket, and the defenders closed in, and he was able to feed Parker for the bucket. Seven-point lead for Idaho State, their largest of the night. Three here from Bethesda. Skims the front of the rim, falls into the arms of Daxton Carr for the rebound. Bergen flips it out to Rodriguez. He'll try again. Another three. Jared Rodriguez. 8-0 run for Idaho State. Rodriguez already has 11 points here in this ball game, and we're have only halfway through the first half. Great game so far for Jared Rodriguez. Three for five from deep. Here's a three from Eli Cohen to answer. His first bucket of the night. Ends the 8-0 run for the Bengals. Another sloppy pass there for Idaho State, knocked out of bounds by Sam Skipper. That's one thing that Bethesda has done very well tonight. They've disrupted the passing lanes. They already have four steals, and I think if her memory serves, at least three of those went all the way for a bucket on the fast break on the other way. Bengals, meanwhile, have made four of their last four shots. Parker down low, great position, triple team, gets it anyway to go down. Nice post move for Braden Parker. That's 
his fourth point of the night. He's two for two. And a nine point lead now for Idaho State. Burton drives into the paint, dishes it down low looking for Daniel Estes and he's gonna get called for the travel. So a turnover there from the Flames. Tarek Cool bringing the ball down as you see that nice pass as he fed Parker on the last possession. Cool again driving in the paint, kicks it out to Bergen. He's gonna take the three, no one would guard him so he shot it. Rebound tipped in and brought in by Cool. Another offensive rebound for Idaho State. They're ninth of the game. Cool, nice pass in the corner looking for Rodriguez. Drives hard to the pain, hits the deck. He's gonna do the game for the Bengals. They've made five of their last six. Now full court pressure here from Idaho State. Clark loses the ball momentarily but is able to get back control. Drives into the paint, flips it out to Estes, guarded by Vicentin, and he's able to lean it over. Daniel Estes getting over the six foot nine Vicentin for the bucket. Cuts the lead down to nine, Idaho State. Playing very well, another turnover there. Clark once again picks it up for the Flames. He takes the long shot, no good, rebound. Picked up by Josiah Woods, so a second chance point there. First offensive rebound of the night for the Flames. They extend the possession. 10 on the shot clock in the paint, trying to do some work. A wild hook shot there from Daniel Estes. He let that go like below his shoulder away from the basket and able to get that to bank in. Cuts the lead down to seven. Carr flips it over to Sorensen, back in for Idaho State. Rodriguez. Down to Smaley, Carr, back to Rodriguez. Smaley now. Over to Sorensen. And he's gonna draw the foul. It's gonna be called against Malcolm Williams and that should take us to another media timeout. Idaho State has made five of their last six shots. They have a seven point lead, 28-21. The Bengals over the Flames. You're watching Big Sky Men's Basketball here on ESPN+. Welcome back to Reed Gym, 28-21, Idaho State on top of Bethesda. As we take a look at some of the earlier action. You know, one thing that the Flames have done pretty well is forcing the turnovers, but uh, check out this shot here. <laughs> Way from back there, getting to go in. Daniel Esses with the shot there. Meanwhile, Liam Sorensen is on the line for Idaho State. And he hits the first one. Bengals are in the bonus for the rest of the half. 17 fouls on Bethesda. That last foul was called on Malcolm Williams. That is his first. Sorensen makes the second free throw. So back to a nine point lead for Idaho State, 30 to 21. And Sorensen will go back to the bench as uh, uh, Malik Porter comes back in for him. Isaiah Burton with the ball for the Flames. 7.15 left to go here. And we have an offensive foul called against the Flames. Malcolm Williams picks up his second foul. No free throws though because it was an offensive foul. So Idaho State will bring the ball up. Cool. Goes around a Porter screen over to Smaley. Smaley brings it back out, looking for some help. Over to Cool. 10 on the shot clock. Smaley works it all around. Rodriguez for three. Jared Rodriguez having his best game as a Bengal. He has 16 points. That is his fourth three. 33-21, Idaho State. Three here from Clark in and out, rebounded by Rodriguez, of course. It's also working the boards too. That's his sixth rebound. He's flirting with a double-double and we still have 6.17 left to go here in the first half. Porter takes a three, no good. 
Rebounded by Justin Clark. Drops it back to Burton to bring it up. Burton back to Clark. Clark drives the baseline, loses the ball momentarily, somehow saves it and finds Malcolm Williams for the bucket. That was a great play by Clark to keep that alive. A nice pass for the assist. Meanwhile, here's Smaley for three, and he makes it to answer for Idaho State. Bengals staying hot. They made seven of their last nine, and they have 13-point lead, their largest of the night. Bengals shooting 50% from beyond the arc, six for 12. Burton drives. He gets the baseline jumper to go. Nice play there by Isaiah Burton. And the Flames have made five of their last seven, so they're doing it as well. Nice pass there from Cool to Parker. Parker didn't shoot it and got the defender in the air and drew the foul. I think it's going to be Burton who's going to be the guilty party. And that is his first foul, ninth team foul. So the next foul from Bethesda will put the Bengals in the double bonus. But this was in the act of shooting, so that's going to send Parker to the free throw line. Flames have been making some impressive plays. Check out this play, this behind the back save for the assist. They've got some, they've got some athletes that can do some pretty fun things there on that Bethesda team. We've seen some pretty, pretty nice plays out of them as Parker hits the first free throw. So he'll get another one. Parker. Can't make the second one. Rebounded by Justin Johnson. Skipper bringing the ball down for Bethesda. 12 point lead for Idaho State. Stops with the right elbow, flips it out to Clark. He can't get it to go. Rebounded by Cool. Cool calling out the play, directing traffic. They work the ball around to Emmett Taylor, the third who's in the game. Rodriguez now for the corner three. He's been hot, no good. Rebound. Attempted by Parker, but I think they're going to get uh, Parker on the foul. Yeah, they're going to call Braden Parker for the foul on the rebound attempt. If we take a look there, they're going to say, I think they're going to say he kind of hooked him to get over there. So that's going to be the first foul against Braden Parker. Third team foul for Idaho State. Just under five to go here in the first half. Bengals up by 12. Three from Skipper, no good off the side of the iron. Rebounded by Rodriguez. Dangerous pass, it gets through to Smaley. Flames have been pretty good at getting in the way in those passing lanes and getting steals again. Clark causing him some issue and he just forces the jump ball. Good defensive presence. Justin Clark's been very active defensively. He has four steals and a lot of deflections so far in this game. He's just been very active defensively. Couldn't quite get the turnover on that one as the possession arrow does favor Idaho State. Meanwhile, Emmett Taylor the third in for the game in for Idaho State. Will inbound it. Sorensen. Parker sets the screen. Another near deflection there from the Flames. Bergen gets into the paint. Nice feed down to Rodriguez, and he just couldn't quite hang on to it. Lost control of it, and it goes out of bounds, and it will be the Flames basketball. Skinner bringing the ball up for... Bethesda flips it out to Woods. He takes the three. He's going to get the foul called on the shot, I think. The foul is going to be on A.J. Bergen. That, I believe, is his first. And they were saying it was a three attempt, so that's going to send Josiah Woods to the free throw line for three shots. We take a look at some of the threes from Idaho State again. They're shooting very well, six for 13 from deep. Uh, that free throw rattles home for Woods. Just the second free throw of the night for the Flames. They've made them both. Woods is going to get two more here. He was fouled on the three attempt. That one rattles out. But he will get one more. So we're just over four minutes left to go here in the first half. Idaho State 
up by nine, or excuse me, 11. And the, and the third free throw, good from Wood. So he makes two out of the three, cuts the lead down to 10. Sorensen bringing the ball down for Idaho State. Rodriguez from the corner, yes, Jared Rodriguez. Just crushing the Flames. 19 points here in the first half for Jared Rodriguez. Six for nine from the field. Five of those from deep. Skipper tries to get it down low, but a good job by Braden Parker to get his hand up and grab the steal for the turnover. Sorensen back over to Bergen. Bergen's going to take the deep three. He gets it to go. A.J. Bergen for three. A 6-0 run now for Idaho State here in the last 27 seconds. They've built the lead up to 16, their largest of the game. Woods, he'll take a three, and he makes it with Rodriguez in his face. Big shot there from Josiah Woods. Just over three to go now. 13-point lead for Idaho State here in the second half. Emmett Taylor, the third for three, yes! And he gets in the scoreboard in the scorebook with a, his first bucket of the night. Bengals have made their last three shots. Skinner drives. Strong screen there from Parker. The Bengals work the ball around. Kind of a zone defense being played by the Flames. Parker double teamed, he'll take the jump shot. No good, bounces off the rims twice and then brought down by Johnson for Bethesda. Fast break opportunity here for the Flames. Nice play by Bethesda to get the ball ahead quickly. Alex Herndon ends it with the layup. It's a nice quick ball movement there from Bethesda. Taylor gets it over to Carr. Smaley back to Taylor. He'll take the three and he'll make the three. Emmett Taylor the third. This second three of the night, he has six points. Bengals up by 17, their largest lead of the evening with a minute 37 left to go here in the first half. Jump shot here from Herndon, that rattles in. Alex Herndon now with four points. He's made both of his shots tonight. Both teams shooting pretty well. Idaho State shooting 57 from the floor. Bethesda shooting 50. Idaho State 59 from deep as Cool misses that three attempt, but it does go out of bounds off of a Flames player. And so it'll stay with Idaho State. Parker's gonna have a seat. Zach Vicenton back in for him as we look at Emmett Taylor the third making the three. Bengals with 10 threes so far tonight, 10 for 18. Shooting 56% from deep. Cool, puts on the brakes, gets in trouble, but is able to get it back out to Carr to keep the possession alive. Two on the shot clock, Taylor has to shoot it, hits it. Deep shot there by Emmett Taylor the third as the clock was going down. They're saying it was a three. So another three is a nice drive here to the hoop by Josiah Woods. He makes a nice drive to get it to go. Flames have made their last four shots. So both offenses really clicking here early on. Carr runs into a couple of players, is able to get around it. Bengals work the ball around to Cool. He's gonna back it up. Smaley, 15 seconds left in the half. Taylor can't get it to go. Rebounded by Woods, nine, eight left in the half. Skipper bring it up, five seconds left. And he's gonna draw the foul. I think it's gonna be on Cool with the foul. Just the fifth team foul on Idaho State, so no free throws coming here. That is on Cool, that is his first. So 3.9 on the clock, Bethesda to inbound. Here in the closing seconds of the first half, Skipper shoots two, one, gets it up in time, no good, and that is how the half is game for the starters. Again, the first start for Idaho State, uh, first start as a Bengal, for Idaho State for Jared Rodriguez, and he's made the most of that time, 19 points in 16 minutes. He also had seven rebounds. 
as well. But it is the Flames will start things off here in the second half. Skipper drives, kicks it out to Clark. He'll take the three, no good. Rebounded by Braden Parker. Over to Cool. Cool had a pretty good first half as far as assists go. He had six assists in the first half. That ties a career high for them. So if he has one more assist, that'll set a career high. Parker, or excuse me, uh, Carr with the pump fake. Cool ends up with it, drives, draws a foul. He's going to go to the line. The guilty party for Bethesda looks like it's going to be Justin Johnson. Yeah, it looks like Johnson was kind of in the air when they collided. So Johnson's going to get called for the foul. That is his second first team foul, and Tarek Cool's going to go to the line. His first trip to the free throw line tonight. And rattles in the first one. That's his fourth point of the night. Just one for five from the field for Terry Cool, but again, he does have those six assists, which again, uh, matches a career high for him. So he's delivering in other ways as he hits the second free throw. And the Bengals are up by 17. That matches their largest lead of the night. Blunt takes the shot with Rodriguez in his face. So Christopher Blunt with the shot. He now has five points for Bethesda. Again, uh, the Flames, their offense have been pretty good as well as we get a whistle here. And it's going to go to the Flames. They're shooting 50%, so it's not like they're shooting poorly themselves. The big difference is the, the bombs that the Bengals are shooting. Another steal there from Braden Parker, his second of the game. Second time tonight, he's kind of gotten in the way in that passing lane and picked up a steal for Idaho State. Smaley, back over to Cool. The rebounds have been a big story in this game too. ISU out rebounding the Flames 24 to nine. Daxon Carr can't get it to go. Jared Rodriguez right on cue, and then dishes it to Daxon Carr for the dunk. And they're gonna tee up Carr for hanging on the rim. It was a nice rebound by Rodriguez and then fed it to a driving Daxton Carr for the dunk and kind of spent a little bit too much time on the rim for the referee's liking, so he's going to get called for the technical foul. Daxton pleading his case. As we take a look at the play, nice feed by Rodriguez off the offensive rebound, and maybe that little chin up right there is probably what cost him. Meanwhile, on the free throw off the technical foul is rattled in from Josiah Woods. That's Daxton's first foul. And Bethesda will get the ball back as well after the free throw, 55-39. Daxton Carr, four points tonight, six rebounds. Inbounding for the Flames is Blunt. Gets it to Clark and right back to Blunt as he'll bring it down. Guarded by Rodriguez. Skipper tries to go to the baseline, but Cool cuts him off. Skipper brings it back out, and he'll try again. Well guarded by Cool. Down low now to Johnson. Tries to send it into the middle to Blunt, but it goes through his hands, and it's going to be another turnover here for Idaho State. Nice dribbling there by Cool. Feed to Parker. Goes up strong. Can't get it on the underneath. Rebounded by Johnson. Here comes the Flames. Nice drive by Woods, and he kisses it off the glass. He's been able to get some nice penetration and nice drives to the basket. Woods now in double digits with 10 points to lead the Flames. Smaley, back up top to Rodriguez. Back over to Cool. Took it over to Carr. Bengals working the ball around. Rodriguez is going to drive into the paint, loses it on the way out, and they're going to say it's off of the Flames. Justin Johnson was there defensively. They're going to say he deflected it out of bounds, so we'll stay with Idaho State. Six on the shot clock as Cool is going to inbound. Over to Rodriguez, back to Cool, four on the shot clock, back to Smaley, has to put it up. Shot clock goes, and he hits the three. Top of Bethesda here, 17-13 left to go here in the second half. 
Little bit of pressure here from Idaho State as Woods brings the ball down. Gets it over to Blunt, back over to Clark. He's gonna drive, loses the ball, picked up by the Flames. Saved by Skipper. Can't get around, cool. Long three here now from Blount, and he gets it to go down. Christopher Blunt with the shot. The Flames have made their last three shot attempts. Rodriguez stops, pops, gets it to go. Jared Rodriguez continues his hot night. He's got 21 for Idaho State. Skipper over to Blunt. Pump fakes, drives in the base, tries to thread the needle, but a good job by Idaho State to get a hand in the way to deflect it. I think that was Parker once again getting a hand on it. 21 points for J-Rod tonight. Flirting with a double-double, he's got eight rebounds. Inbounded here from the Flames. Blunt's baseline jumper no good, and a rebound to Rodriguez. I think he, he'll get credit for it. He does, so he's one rebound away from a double-double. Cool. Wide open three. Hits the front of the rim. Rebounded by Blunt. Quickly ahead to Skipper. Back to Blunt, and he gets it to go. And the foul. Nice play there by Bethesda to get the play moving after the rebound. That's going to draw an and one. That's going to take us to another media timeout. Idaho State up 60 to 46. We'll have free throws for the Flames coming up. You're watching Big Sky Men's Basketball here on ESPN+. Plus. Free throw no good there from Christopher Blunt as he's unable to convert the three-point play. Parker picked up his second foul for Idaho State. First team foul. Bengals by 14 here, 15, 36 left to go here in the second half. Cool for three. No good, rebounded by Daxton Carr as a couple of players hit the deck. Fresh possession here for Idaho State. Smaley for three. Austin Smaley now has double digits, is 11 points as he hits the three. He's three for three from deep. Nice feet underneath. And it's going to be out of bounds off of Justin Johnson. That was a nice drive and dish, but Johnson could not quite hang on to the ball. Skipper with the delivery, but out of bounds to Idaho State. Up by 17, matches their largest lead of the game. Smaley tried to thread the needle, tried to get it down to Parker, but a nice job by Bethesda to get in the way and steal it again. They have six steals as a team. Skipper for three. No good. Rebound to Cool. Cool loses the handle momentarily, able to pick it back up. Gets it to Parker. Back over to Cool. Parker. Zone defense here by Bethesda, so there's some spaces here for shooting. Carr can't hit the three, rebounded by Rodriguez. He can't get it to go back and rebounded by Woods. Here comes the Flames. It's a 10th rebound for Rodriguez. He has a double-double in his first start as a Bengal. Nice feed here to Blunt. He puts it up, rattles in, no good. Another rebound for J-Rod. Stuff in the stat sheet tonight, Rodriguez, the transfer from the University of San Diego. His best game as a Bengal. Bengals working the ball around. Rodriguez for three, no good. Hits the front of the rim and into the arms of Josiah Woods, ahead to Skipper. Skipper calling for a screen. Johnson comes and gives it to him. Gonna try and take another one. Gets into the paint. Blocked by Parker, but Skipper gets the rebound and puts it back up. Nice job by Parker for on the block initially, but Skipper did not give up on the play, got the rebound, was able to put it back in. 15-point lead here for Idaho State. 63 points here for Idaho State. Nice feed for Cool down to Parker. Can't get it to go, but he's going to earn a trip to the free throw line. Nice feed underneath for Cool. 
Cool has seven assists tonight. That's a career high. And Parker's going to go to the line as the foul is called on Justin Clark. That is his second, second team foul. Parker hits to the free throw. So a couple of substitutions are coming in. Looks like Cool and Carr will sit down for Idaho State as Liam Sorensen and Malik Porter will come in. Johnson will have a seat for Bethesda. I didn't catch who the other one, it looks like uh, Josiah Woods will sit down. As Parker hits the second free throw. And now Parker's gonna have a seat and Zach Pacinton's gonna come in for him. I think Herndon and Estes came in for Bethesda. 13 to go, 65-48 Idaho State. Bengals came in averaging 58.9 points per game. They've already exceeded that. We still have 13 minutes to play. The offense has been working really for both teams. Fadeaway shy here, no good. Rebounded by a couple of Bengals, fought for it. It ends up in the hands of Vicenton. And here comes Idaho State. Smaley over to Sorensen. Stops, Smaley wide open for three. He'll take it. No good, skying up for the putback with a one-handed tomahawk is Malik Porter. Porter's showing the athleticism. Here's a three now, front, no good, rebounded by Smaley. Porter bringing some life into the building here. The nice putback, Smaley down low to Vicenton. Malik Porter's got some athleticism. He's known to have been doing that as a a foul called here on Justin Clark. To take a look again, Porter just skies up and throws it down. Malik Porter is one of those players, it's like instant activity, instant offense whenever he comes in. He's capable of just going on a run and putting on shows just like that. Sorensen has to put on the brakes, kicks it out to Bergen for three, and A.J. Bergen knocks it down. His second three of the night. He has eight points. Bengals on a 7-0 run here in this last minute. They've built up the 22-point lead, their largest of the night, but the Flames respond with a bucket. Skipper throws it down, or gets it to go down, I should say. He has nine points, 20-point lead. 11 and a half to go. And we have a 20 point lead for Idaho State here in the second half. The drive goes off the hands of Blunt, but touched by a bangle, so we'll stay with the Flames. About 11 18 left to go here in the game. Flames will inbound underneath their own basket. Justin Clark with Vicentin in his face. Got to get it in, deflected by Vicentin, so it'll stay with the Flames. Clark pleading his case, trying to argue Vicentin's a little <laughs> in the way. Vicentin is uh, six foot nine, standing in front of the guard. He does get it in to Daniel Estes, and he's going to get called for the offensive foul, and he can't believe it. It was Bergen that drew the charge for the Bengals. Nestus was beside himself that he got called for the foul. That is his first, fourth team foul. And Bergen may have sold it a little bit. Knocked out of bounds right in front of the Bengal bench. It will stay with Idaho State. Bergen's had a pretty solid game. He has eight points in six minutes, it's pretty efficient. That's a season high for him in points. Sorensen, nowhere to go, has to get back out to Carr. Sorensen, Bergen loses it momentarily, eight on the shot clock, drives, stops, pops, goes. A.J. Bergen in double digits now, he has 10 points. It's his best game as a Bengal. 
It's a, one of those nights where the offensive numbers are gonna look pretty good. And a tip in and the bucket. I think it's gonna get charged, or kick, the bucket's gonna count. Sam Skipper flew in, tapped in the rebound, got fouled and got it to go. These Flames have players who can make some very athletic plays. Look here, following his own shot, gets the tip to go and it's called for the foul. That's Liam Sorensen's third foul. Can't get the free throw to go though. But rebounded by the Flames. And this time it's gonna go down and they're gonna, I think they're gonna call a flop warning on Carr. So I think the bucket is gonna count from Estes. Cause I so yeah, 72-54. So Estes is gonna get charged for the bucket, yes. And then the flop warning to Carr. So if he gets a second one of those, it's a technical. And he already has a technical in this game, so that's something to keep an eye on. You know, Estes is like, where was that on the play before? Another quick hands there from Blunt. Let's knock it out of bounds. It'll stay with Idaho State. Carr got a technical earlier in the game for hanging on the rim after a dunk. Now he has a flop warning to his credit as well, so he's gotta be mindful of that. Else his night could end early. 14 on the shot clock, Bengals working it around. Sorensen drives underneath the Porter, up and underneath, and a nice play there. Malik Porter. He has six points. That's the 19th assist as a team for Idaho State, and another foul here called an offensive foul. I think Alex Herndon is gonna be the guilty party this time. So we have substitutions coming in for both teams here. So that's good. The foul is going to be called on Justin Clark. That's his fourth. So he's still in the game, though, with the four fouls. 9.50 left to go. Cool. Drives into the paint. He'll stop and pop at the elbow. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Last touched by the Flames. So it'll stay with Idaho State. Good ball movement, though, by Idaho State. 19 assists in this game as a team. Emmett Taylor the third swatted away, big time block there by Daniel Estes as he sends that into the front row. Some highlight plays from both teams tonight as he just swatted that out of there. It will stay with Idaho State though. 13 on the shot clock, cool. Goes around the Vicentin screen, hands it over to Emmett Taylor the third, pump fake in the corner, Bergen, six on the shot clock. He'll stop, take the long two, no good. Rebounded by Estes, here comes the Flames. Quickly over to Clark, he'll take the three, no good, well short, but there's gonna be a foul, I think, against Vicentin on the loose ball. That is gonna be the fourth team foul against Idaho State. So we take a look at that emphatic block here by Estes. That always feels good when you can do that. <laughs> a lot of fun highlight plays here tonight. Again, the offensive numbers are gonna be pretty fancy tonight. Coaches might not like the defensive end. And there's Estes again. He had a shot that was almost identical to that in the first half on the other end. That hook shot where he almost releases it like below his shoulder. S is showing off the athleticism here on both ends of the floor. 74-56 Idaho State on top. And the Flames showing some glimmers of some highlight plays, but they can't stop the Bengals from scoring as that ball is deflected out of bounds as Rodriguez tried to drive to the hoop. It will stay with Idaho State, seven on the shot clock. Estes, again with that crazy shot. Seven on the shot clock here, quickly into Bergen. Parker, two on the shot clock, cool. Loses it and it's gonna be a shot clock violation as the Bengals couldn't quite get the ball out of, the, out of their hands for the shot. The Bengals have now missed their last four shots. They've cooled down a little bit, still shooting 49% from the field, 50 from behind the arc. 
Meanwhile, the Flames, they're shooting 50 from the floor as well. Just four for 15 from beyond, though. And there's going to be another foul here called against uh, Justin Clark. And that's his fifth foul. So Justin Clark has just fouled out of the game. He had four points, two for 10 shooting. He didn't have four steals, but he has just got his fifth foul, and he's done for the evening with 8.32 left to go here in the second half. Rodriguez for three from the corner. No good. He's cooled off a little bit here in the second half. Rebounded, though, by Smaley. That was the 16th offensive rebound for the Bengals tonight. They've crushed the Flames on the board. Smaley will try another three from the corner. That's a little bit short. Rebound brought down by Burton for the Flames. Skinner. Drives, loses it, and they're going to be a foul called. I think they're going to get, yeah, it's going to be Tarek Cool on the foul. So that's going to be Cool's second foul, uh, fifth team foul. Meanwhile, Sorensen's getting set to check in. He'll come in for Cool. Isaiah Burton will inbound underneath his own basket, 801 on the clock. Swatted away on the inbound by Parker. It's the second time a Bengal big has gotten the way on the inbound pass, so they'll try it again. Gonna lob it over, this time finds Estes down low. Double teamed, quickly out for three. Blunt, no good, rebounded by Parker. Well defended there by Idaho State. Sorensen bringing it in, weaves his way through a couple of flames. Back to Rodriguez for the corner three. J-Rod once again with the three, his sixth three of the night. He has 24. Skipper down low to Estes. He's going to take the baseline jumper. He gets it. Nice shot over Parker, who had his hand extended in his face. Estes has had a pretty good night. He's made every shot he's taken. He has 10 points on five of five shooting. Some of them in this, a, lot, a couple of them in the circus variety is some awkward looking shots, but they go in. Parker down low, We're not gonna stop him when he gets that deep of positioning. Nine points now for Parker. And it's a 21 point lead for Idaho State here. As we're approaching seven minutes to go. Back and forth action here. That I think that might've been partially blocked. Rebounded by Bethesda. That one no good, hasn't hit the rim yet. Another circus shot by Essis. This one isn't gonna go down though. Rebounded by Taylor. Sorensen bringing the ball down now for the Bengals. Knocked away momentarily, able to get it back. Smaley back to Rodriguez. Back to Sorensen, and they'll set things back up again. Rodriguez open for three, no good. Back iron, rebounded by Smaley. Another offensive rebound by the Bengals, and he puts it back in. Austin Smaley has 13 points tonight. The so Bengals continue to just put on the points. Shot here from Skipper. Hits the floor. No, no call. Rebounded by Taylor. And I think there's going to be a whistle away from the basket. Uh, maybe I think it's going to be a flop warning. But that's going to take us to our next media timeout. Bengals in control up 81-58. You're watching Big Sky Men's Basketball here on ESPN+. Plus. Eighty-one fifty-eight, Sido State on top with about six minutes left to go here in the game. Idaho State's dominated from deep as Emmett Taylor the third hits again from deep. 7-0 run for Idaho State. Taylor now in double digits. He has 11 points. Woods lobs it down to Estes. He's had a solid game for the Flames. Kicks it back out to Blunt. He hits the three and the whistle. So he's going to have a chance at a four-point play as Jared Rodriguez is guilty of committing the foul on the three. That's so going to send Blunt to the line. Bengals have hit 15 threes tonight, shooting 52% from deep, 51 from the field. Flames 47 from the field, but they're just 29 from three. So the Bengals have made 
10 more threes than the Flames. That's a big difference in this game. Also, Idaho State has out-rebounded Bethesda 41 to 20. Idaho State's got had better ball movement as well as Blunt hits the free throw to complete the four-point play. 22 assists for Idaho State. So they have 30 field goals. 22 of them have been assisted. Sorensen for three. Yes, assisted by Rodriguez. Liam Sorensen makes his first three of the night. He has five points. Going to be a lot of season or career high numbers from players tonight as that three is no good by Bethesda but rebounded by the Flames and another shot for Estes but I think they're going to call an offensive foul before the shot no they're going to count the basket but I think it is a foul against Bethesda it must have been after the basket so Estes is going to get credited for the bucket Again, that crazy hook shot where he releases it so far behind his head. It's amazing how accurate he's been tonight with that such kind of uh, unconventional release point. So usually with your, you know, you think of your the Kareem style hook shot, it's like well above your head and it's almost coming down, but he just kind of throws it up there. So Porter is at the free throw line. The foul was called on Woods. That's his first. The Bengals are in the bonus, so that's why we have Porter at the line. He's going to get another one here. He makes them both. Eighty-nine, sixty-four. Porter with eight points now. Into the game now for Bethesda is Alex Stein. Down low to Estes. Estes strong move, no good. Rebounded by Taylor. Quickly out to Sorensen. Stops right in front of Coach Ryan Looney, gets some instructions, slows things down a little bit. Working the ball around, Svaley, back to Taylor. He'll take a three, rattles in and out, rebounded by Porter. Skying up, getting another offensive rebound for Idaho State. They have 18 offensive rebounds. Down low to Porter, quickly out to Sorensen. He'll take the three. Back iron, no good. Sorensen gets his own rebound. Uh, tries to fake it, but he's going to draw the foul. Looks like he tried to fake the pass behind his back and then ran into Josiah Woods, but Woods must not have been in proper position because he got called for the block, and that's his second foul. That's going to send Liam Sorensen to the line for one-on-one. -on -one. Sorensen has five points tonight. This is his third free throw of the evening. Can't get it to go. Rebound, though, tipped up by Rodriguez and picked up by Smaley. So the Bengals get another offensive rebound. Sorensen with the ball now. Ten on the shot clock. Drives left, stops, kicks it out to Taylor. Taylor for three. Good. Emmett Taylor the third with another three. And I think that's going to be a timeout called by Idaho State with 3.55 left to go. That, I think, should be our media timeout as well. Idaho State, 92-64 over Bethesda. Bombing it from three, the Bengals are. We'll have more for you. You're watching Big Sky Men's Basketball on ESPN+. Plus. Just under four minutes to go here at Reed Gym on the campus of Idaho State University. Bengals nearly get a steal here, still getting the pressure on. And Bergen comes up with a steal. It's a turnover there from the Flames from the pressure from Idaho State. Sorensen whips it around. Emmett Taylor the third with another three. The Bengals just continue to be devastating from deep. Taylor now has 17 points. He's made five threes. Bengals on an 8-0 run. Idaho State has 18 three-point field goals tonight. The most they've ever had in one game, as we have a whistle, is 19. So they're one away from that. I think A.J. Bergen is going to get called for a foul here. That is his second. That's the seventh team foul. So that's going to send uh, Josiah Woods to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. 
Bengals have 18 threes tonight. The most they've ever hit in a game in school history is 19. So they're one away from that. That was also against Bethesda. Again, that was in November of 19th of 2018, so just a couple of years ago, as Woods hits the first free throw, earning himself a second one. Fifty-three percent from deep has been Idaho State tonight. As Woods hits the second free throw, seven for ten from the line of the Flames been tonight. Bengals eleven for seventeen, so everybody just shooting pretty well. The Flames just twenty-nine percent from deep, but they are forty-seven from the field. So Bengals work the ball around. Bergen for three, no, yes. It bounced up and then went down. That's their 19th three of the game as a team. That matches the most in school history. They hit one more, and this will be the record for the most threes in a game for Idaho State. 2.43 left to go on the clock. Bengals up by 32. And Larry just look Kyle Karstetter. He's into the game now for Idaho State. So the benches are starting to empty a little bit. Also in the game for Idaho State is Pablo Tamba for the first time, Karstetter, he'll take a three. Why not? He makes it, Kyle Karstetter. And that's the 20th three of the evening for Idaho State. That is the most in school history for a single game. Everybody getting involved. Down low here for the Flames. Flipping it up and no good is Estes. Rebound picked up by Tomba. Vicentin hits the ground below behind the play. He gets up and appears to be okay. Karstetter, why not? He'll take another three. Back iron, rebounded by Bergen. Tried to get it to Sorensen, but Estes gets his hands on it and deflects it out of bounds. It will stay with Idaho State. So Bergen will inbound with 19 seconds on the shot clock. 152 left to go in the game. 101-66 as the Bengals are on a 6-0 run. They've Put up triple digits tonight. Sorensen, corner, and it's going to be an offensive foul against Sorensen on the pass. That is going to be Sorensen's fourth foul. Eighth team foul. Karstetter with that record-setting three just moments after coming into the game. It's been the story tonight. Three attempt here from the Flames. No good. Karstetter with the rebound as Woods is off on his three attempt. Sorensen with the ball now. Over to Karstetter. Corner. Tamba. No good. Uh, rebounded by Estes. Estes has been a bright spot for the Flames. He has 12 points for them. Stein with the ball now. Just a minute to go here in the ball game. Bengals in control. Here's a three from Stein, front of the rim, rebound by Bergen. He'll push it up for Idaho State. Wait for his mates to join him. Sorensen now. Corner for Tomba. He gets taken away by the Flames. Stein will push it. 39 to go. Long two here from Woods. His foot was on the line. Well, that does end a 6-0 run for Idaho State. Makes it 101-68. Bergen. About a two-second differential from play clock and shot clock, or game clock, I should say, and there's going to be a reach-in foul called here against Rayshon Bulger. They just announced here at Reed Gym that they set the record for most three-pointers in a game with that 20th free, that 20th three-point shot that was made by Karstetter. Got a little bit of a pop from the home crowd here as Bergen hits the free throw. That's Bulger's uh, fourth foul. So Bergen gets another one. With 16 seconds left to go here on the clock. Bergen with a solid night. Makes a second free throw for his 15th point. Again, there's going to be a lot of Bengals with season and career high points and field goal numbers tonight. Stein quickly pushes it up. Seven on the clock. 
Can't get it to go. Rebound brought down by the Flames. Put up, no good. Another offensive rebound, and that follow-up shot.